I want to go into some like kind of common rebuttals or kind mm. of arguments people come back with, but is there anything else like blood pressure, for example, maybe that we missed that I think are important to touch on before we do so? We touch on a lot, you know, with mm. the fiber to the microbiome to the fats and protein. And yeah, One thing we didn't speak about with the, the fat component is, so dietary fat is really important, the type of dietary fat when it comes to our metabolic health. So we've spent a lot of time talking about blood lipids, but not so much about uh, blood glucose levels, insulin resistance, triglycerides, for example. And metabolic health is is a big sort of buzzword um, at the moment. And Roy Taylor has done some excellent work, researcher out of the UK, looking at um, what drives type 2 diabetes, which is a metabolic condition. And firstly, it's abundantly clear that type 2 diabetes is completely preventable. It's often reversible in most, most circumstances, depending on how long someone's had it. But it's driven by energy toxicity. So consuming too much calories, first and foremost, that's, that's the main reason why people are developing insulin resistance and end up with type 2 diabetes. And I find it really interesting to consider that you can have two people in front of you who have the same amount of body fat, same BMI. One of them develops type 2 diabetes, but the other doesn't. And he seems to have solved this. A lot of that comes down to distribution of fat. Where do you store your fat? Mm. And, and we can have, uh, there's a strong genetic component that, di- that dictates that. People who can, can uh, store more fat subcutaneously, so like under the skin, if they have greater capability of doing that, they're at much lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. They can just expand that subcutaneous adipose tissue and then they're not getting the fat centrally in and around the organs, which is really damaging. Yeah. The flip side of that is someone who has less capability of storing fat subcutaneously. So they have what Roy Taylor would describe as a lower personal fat threshold. At a given body fat, they're, they're spilling fat over into their organs, whereas the, the other person is not. They can keep storing it subcutaneously. And that fat that gets stored in the liver and in the pancreas, we would call that ectopic fat, it's very toxic. We really do not want to build up fat in the liver and in the pancreas. That's what drives insulin resistance. And you know, the, the downstream effect of that is these elevations in, in blood sugar. So energy toxicity is the primary driver of that. And you see in clinical trials, if you get people to lose 10 or 15% of their body weight who have type 2 diabetes and have only had it for five years or less, so the direct trial or the counterpoint trial, you see remission you get the fat out of those organs their blood sugar levels normalize they come off medications they no longer have type 2 diabetes now if they regain the body weight it'll come back but you can get them into um, sort of remission underneath total energy the type of fat that we eat actually directly affects the fat in our liver and i think this is lost on people and this sort of ties back to the saturated fat versus polyunsaturated fat discussion. We have quite a few clinical trials now showing that saturated fat, even when you're not consuming it in a hypercaloric diet, excess calories, will, will relative to polyunsaturated fats, will increase the fat in your liver. So when you make these swaps and you're eating less butter and you eat more olive oil, or you eat less fatty Uh, cuts of red meat and you eat more fatty fish or tofu or or tempeh, you are reducing the fat that within these organs and you actually become more insulin sensitive. You become better at managing your blood glucose. Um, So I think that's, you know, we didn't talk about that earlier, but that's one Mm -hmm. piece that I would kind of add to that. It's important. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I found that very fascinating. 